preserved for our walk in this world. They resound. Welcome again to Dear Lover of God, the time when you and I spend looking at Luke's account of the life of Christ. We come now to Luke chapter 6, Luke chapter 6, beginning at verse 37. Some very familiar words, Luke 6, beginning at verse 37. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, and put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. He also told them a parable. Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone, when he is fully trained, will be like his teacher. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take the speck that is in your eye, and when you yourself do not see the log that is in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take out the speck that is in your brother's eye. For no good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorn bushes, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. The good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. The passage on judging. So many times from this passage and in Matthew chapter 7, judge not that you be not judged, we get that idea, we get that statement, we get that back statement from people when we question their activities, whether or not they are healthy, whether or not they are good. Well, you can't judge me. The Bible says not to judge. And we as Christians are quick to yell that at other people, other Christians as well. But what I want you to ask as you go back and you read through these verses again, what is Jesus really saying? As you take the time to read again, and you look at what he is saying. Yes, he talks about judging. He talks about condemning. He talks about forgiving. He talks about giving. He talks about being a blind person leading another blind person. You're both falling into a pit. He talks about the speck that is in your brother's eye, the moat, the beam that's coming out of your own eye. He talks about that hypocrisy. And then he talks about good and bad fruit. And so that first section through about verse Oh, 42, Jesus is talking about being careful the way that we evaluate, that we judge people, that we make sure we look at ourselves and we take care of ourselves and are working on ourselves before we're quick to condemn others. But then from verses 43 through about verse 45, he says, you should be judging. Because you can tell a tree by its fruit. Well, is this an apple tree or is this a pear tree or is this a peach tree? Well, let me go look at the fruit. I see the fruit. I know what it is because of the fruit of the tree. Well, is this tree healthy or is this tree not healthy? How can I tell? Look at its fruit. If the fruit is quality, the tree is healthy. If the fruit is rotten, the tree is rotten. You're judging the tree based on its fruit. So which is it, Jesus? Am I to judge or not to judge? What does he mean? I heard one speaker say one time, well, I'm not supposed to be a judge, but I am supposed to be a fruit inspector. I think I know what they meant by that. And here is what I want. Here is how I want us to understand it. Judging and condemning are different from the type of judging that is fruit inspection. Judging and condemning is looking at someone's life, looking at their activities, looking at what they've said or what they've done, and thinking that they are a bad person because of that one or two things. Thinking that they'll never change, condemning them to a, 
an eternity in hell simply because of what they've said or what they've done and judging their motives behind what they said. Whereas fruit inspection looks at what has happened and says, well, that's not really the right thing to do. That's not really the best thing to do. And then going to that person and saying, you know, what you're doing is going to hurt someone or what you're doing may hurt you and I care about you. And you see the difference. One is an attitude of I am right and you were wrong and, and, and you are a horrible person. And the other one is you, there are some things in your life that, that are causing you harm and I care about you and I want you to be right with God and I want you to have the best life for you that you can have. And so what you have are the different attitudes of your own heart. Maybe, maybe that's why Jesus says, get the moat out of your own eye before you get to speck out of your brother's eye. What's your motivation? What's your reason for pointing out that person's sin, that person's inconsistency? Is it to make yourself better? Is it to show them what a horrible person they are? Or is it to help them? To help them to be more like Christ? And is it with a spirit of humility so that when... You go to them and they say, hey, look, you know, yes, I did that wrong, but have you looked at your own life? Instead of brushing up, you go, yeah, you're right. I need to change as well. And so what Jesus is helping us to see is a real revolutionary concept. It was then and it still is now. A concept of humility. We are all in this together. That's, I think, what Jesus wants us to realize. That compared to God, we are worthless. Compared to Christ, we are imperfect. Well, we are imperfect and he's perfect. So when we approach each other, we approach each other with this understanding that you and I are a lot alike. We are struggling with this life. And we are trying and striving to be more Christ-like. So I beg you, I beg you to help me. In fact, Paul would tell us that who are we to judge outsiders? Is it not those inside the body that we are to judge? So as a fellow Christian, I'm asking you to judge me. I'm asking you to inspect my fruit, to help me live for Christ. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for your blessings, for your care, for your compassion. Father, we thank you that you have loved us enough to give us your son. That you have loved us enough not to pass condemnation onto us, but that you came, that you sent your son of the world not to condemn us, but that through him we could have salvation. Father, help us to be like Christ. Not judgmental or condemning, but compassionate. Inspecting people's fruit so that we can help them become more like you and at the same time inspecting our own fruit so that we can become more like you. Father, help us to see the motivation of our own hearts and help us to align our hearts with you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to join you as we look at Luke's account of the gospel. As lovers of God, we try to be more Christ-like. I look forward to these. I look forward to being with you again. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. We have come.